Hi. Today, I want to show you how to prevent people from participating in the same experiment twice, or give them a new experiment or a new experience if they return to your study a second time. So let's get started. This is going to be a live coding demo, though uh, the code here is going to be very simple, so I expect it to be pretty straightforward. So let's go to my test account. I'm going to start with a blink experiment. Um, it's just going to be three pages, the, the landing page, an alternative landing page for those who come back, and the thank you page. Um, let me go ahead and add a blank one here. So let's call this repeats sample. It's going to be blank. Got new files in here. So I'm going to create a new file that's just going to be call this the main HTML file. I can call it whatever I want, but I'll start with the HTML file. And here I'll start with my main pages. So this first div I'm going to call um, home. And let's say welcome to the experiment. So this is the page for people who land here the first time. A new div for people who um, repeat. So say I'll re set the idea repeat. I'll say welcome back. Experiment. Say div. I'm going to call this one and new study complete. So these are just three separate divs. And what I'm going to do is based on uh, you know, whether you are a repeat respondent, show you uh, the, the correct div. Actually, put some buttons in here so people can control when they uh, how they move from one um, div to another. So on click, we call this um, finish. This will be my was my finish or my um, button to complete the experiment. So I'll just call this function finish, and I'll define it in my separate JavaScript file. And then I'm going to Another button for repeats. Um, it'll also call finish. Um, same experience. All I want to demonstrate here is um, how to check if somebody has, has participated um, more than once and to give them a separate experience. So this is just a way of, of demonstrating that for you. So that's my HTML file, three little divs. Let me go ahead and create a JavaScript file that will do the checking. So I'll just call this main.js. And I'm going to define a function. Um, Python function. Uh, initialize. We'll start with initialize. That's the function that starts all studies. I'll leave it blank for this for the moment. Function. Um, finish. So you know, I have that, when uh, the button gets clicked, it calls finish. And what I want to do when somebody finishes the study, they, they click that finish button. Um, what you do is you assign an award. It says award has basically completed the study. And what you're going to do at the initialize function is check, does this person have the award finished the study? So uh, the way you do this is you say write award that's a function in volunteer science. You give this award a name. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, you just have to be consistent. Remember what it is. So we'll call it completed um, to make it easy. You can give this award a value if you want. So you can set it to 1 or 100, whatever. I'm going to leave it blank. Um, and uh, we will call experiment complete at, right at this moment. Um, and now what happens is when you call initialize, when the study first starts, what you want to do is you want to check whether the person has this award. Um, so I'm actually going to go copy paste some code from our docs, our best practices. Um, and I'm just going to actually see the entire initialize function. Uh, but if you go, I'll just show you the so if you go to volunteerscience.com slash 
doc slash best underscore practices dot html you'll see some examples of code and at the very bottom there's an example of this secret award uh, in this case of the secret award that we have here in the best practices it allows you to skip instructions so if somebody finishes uh, the instructions you can set the award and then check every time the study starts to see if that person has finished the, uh, the, the instructions in this case we're creating an award for somebody who's completed and we're going to check if they've completed and if so we're going to give them that separate page uh, i'm going to delete the the try uh, it's a little risky to do that in case the server is temporarily down um, but it, it's almost never down uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, if awards my id so if i'm the zero, the first player the second player or third player this allows you to, to handle awards for multiple players. If awards, my ID, and then we're just gonna say, uh, if um, I think it's completed in, uh, if completed in my awards, oops. go because we didn't set a value um, and we're going to hide this home page and we're going to show repeat so we'll say hi home all the home <laughs> home hide and repeat Um, so that's um, how we check for awards. Let me just double check if that's the right way of checking for. Another way to do it is to say, you know, if awards my ID completed, because if it's empty, it's just going to return null uh, or false. Um, so we could do this actually, if completed. There we go. So if there is a thing called completed and awards my ID, then it'll run, um, it'll hide the home and show the repeat tab. Now let me go over here because right now these divs are shown by default. So I want to set the style display none. And that just means that when the study loads, uh, it won't, this particular div won't be shown. That's what style the setting display equal to none under style means just hide the thing. So, actually, the last thing I'll do is I will create an end study function here for the very end. And this is what I'll call the normal uh, experiment complete. Oh, you know, actually, let's we'll just call it experiment. Experiment complete. So we'll just call the experiment complete function, which is already defined in volunteer science uh, for this last button. So save that. Save that. So just to look back at this div um, or this home page, uh, if you haven't participated before, you'll see the home page. It'll say, Welcome to the experiment. When you click finish, you know, you do your experiment. Uh, when you click the finish or they click this button, oops, let's call it. Say the button is actually say finish on it. In study. Okay. When you click this finish button, um, it closes home. So I gotta actually make sure I do that. Uh, finish. We'll hide. Actually, we're gonna hide home and repeat. There's no harm in calling hide or dot show multiple times as long as it's um, you know, calling a dot hide twice on home just makes it hidden twice uh, it's not a toggle so here we go we'll finish um, the first time through we'll see study complete experiment complete uh, and then when I come back again to do it the second time um, I'm 
not going to see the home page. I'll see this welcome back to the experiment and I'll click that finish button again and I'll go to the study complete div. All right, so let's go and see if that worked. Welcome to the experiment. It didn't work. My guess is that Oh, I didn't. <laughs> There's no dot show. That's what it is. Bum, bum, bum. I forgot to actually show this end of here. I'm hiding all the pages, but I didn't actually show the one that I want. So end dot show. Okay. Perils of live coding once again. So let me close this. So Control Shift J opens up that console if you're still interested. So launch. Welcome to the experiment. Oh, welcome back to the experiment, right? Because I already finished once. I already clicked that finish button. There we go. Study complete and study, and we're done. Um, so again, all you can do is you know, um, turn back to this div. You can set it up so that the typical home page is hidden when somebody goes to a and the second time through goes to this repeat page. If you wanted it to be the end page, you could actually have them go to um, this um, second page and the second page just can say, um, we don't allow repeat respondents. And then set this to experiment complete. So they just click that button and the study's over. And that's all they, uh, you need to do to uh, prevent people from participating a, a second time or to have them you know, just have a different experience the second time through. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please send us an email at support at volunteerscience.com. Thanks.